Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about switching a KTM or a Husqvarna um, fuel tank over to a large tank. This is an IMS tank. We're going to show how to switch it over on a four-stroke with a fuel pump. So on a two-stroke, it's really not that big a deal. You just unbolt the uh, pecock or fuel valve. You just unbolt it. Spencer laughs when you say that. So you unbolt it from the stock one, bolt it in your new one. Most people know it's pretty simple. So, but with a fuel pump, you have a bigger deal. So here, here's our stock tank, and this is off a Husqvarna FC250, which would be the same as a 250SX or XCF, you know, SXF or, or XCF. So the first thing you're gonna do is you unbolt these two. Unbolt these two, and then come over here to the fuel regulator area here. You unbolt these four six millimeter heads, the screws, pull those out, and then the entire fuel pump will come out just like this. This will come out, and I'm keeping this tank intact. I have the luxury of having an extra fuel pump, hose, um, and, the, and the other pieces. O-rings are here. This is all ready to go, just as if we pulled it out of here. Now these screws we won't use. The IMS tank comes with new screws because those are threaded in and not screwed in. So that's all you do in the stock tank is undo these two, wrench here, wrench here, undo them, it's pretty simple, and like so. And now we're done with the stock fuel tank, and I'll give you some tips on installing this into the IMS tank. Okay, so first thing is IMS has some really good instructions. Um, instructions are great, but if you've never done it, uh, video is kind of good. They have some good instructions. They have all the hardware pieces here. I put them all in this tray. These are the, because you'll need different screws and bolts for the plastic. A piece of wire, they don't include a piece of wire. Uh, we, we do, uh, just got a piece of wire. We're gonna feed it through this lower hole here. And what I do is I feed it up. I had this in here already and it wasn't on film. So Spencer's like, oh, you gotta, you gotta redo this. Oh, there it is, look at, that's how quick I did it. So you got your wire like this, okay? So it wasn't too bad. So now you're gonna, you're gonna feed this through the tank and into that spot like like that and it's gonna this is gonna sit you know like so at that this point we're gonna wrap our wire right below the threads and I just wrap it around here a couple times you don't gotta go crazy you just don't want to damage your threads so don't get on the threads themselves and then don't let this other end drop in now we're gonna send this into the tank like so, and we'll be able to pull it down. And you're kind of pushing in while you're holding the wire. And now I'm looking to Pull it up here, and now we know we're getting close because this is almost lined up like 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 that. But now we got to get the the fuel pump itself pulled up in here, and it can be a little bit tricky. See, we're getting closer. Cutting off the circulation in my hand. Not quite ready yet. So the, the fuel pump's hitting the side of the tank in here and holding us up. So we kind of got to get it twisted a little bit, but there's no way to have a hand in there. Okay, so I've learned a few things here not to do while I was off camera. I have a glove on my left hand because the wire was cutting into my hand, something terrible. Now, hold on one second, let's show that we put a little grease on the O-ring and then I got my assistant Cole here, hold this, we're going to move this, try to get it like kind of in the center of the hole there so we can get this one on. So there's an O-ring on here, okay, so now we can pull this up tight, tighten this down and we'll be able to get that wire off. Uh, the other one. Oh, other size. So 19. 
So we're going to tighten this down and then pull the wire off. But I've gotten the, the first one tightened up, I can loosen this and I can get the wire off. Like so. Pull the wire off. We have our cap here and we're going to screw it on. I put a little bit of grease on the o-ring. Looks like we're getting through. It wasn't totally centered on the plastic. And so now, and then this one I, ha I had fairly just snugged up. I can tighten this one up. And I don't know if there's a torque setting because you're crushing plastic, so I'm not sure how much of a true torque setting you can get on this, but that feels about right. So about like that right there. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the 17 on this one. So now we're pretty much done. Now our fuel line is going to come in like, like so. And we'll probably, you know, leave this loose once we want to. And again, we have the O-ring on both sides. And again, I would put a tiny bit of grease, just a little bit, just so that it helps it. Uh, spin and not tear. This is like, like so. Okay, so I've tightened this. It's actually a 15. So now, at this point, these are tight. The first thing I would do is before I put it in the bike, is put a little fuel in here. Uh, you know, just on this, get it over here to this side and let it sit for a while and make sure there's no leaks right here. If you're good there, or if you're bad there, then you're gonna need to take this apart, check your O-rings, fitment. Now, so then when I'm, once I'm done here, th then I would uh, bolt up this, bolt this up, which we'll do right now, like so. We got uh, three sets of hands in here. All right, cool. I always like to get everything snug before you get them all started and just snug before you tighten one. You know, of course, you want to make sure you're all lined up on something like this. And again, this has an O-ring on the back side as well, obviously, so that there's no, no leaking. This tank, I think, will increase us uh, substantially from the motocross model. We're, we're turning this bike from a motocrosser into an off-road bike, um, and so we don't have a large tank. Now, if, we, if it was an XCF-type bike, I would probably leave the stock tank on, but this is going to help us uh, for our long rides to keep up with the big tanks we have, the, the big IMS tanks we have on the 300s, so that we can ride all day. Okay, that was a pretty good job there by Cole of tightening these. I mean, I'm gonna double check his torque, but it looks great. So now this is tight. I'm gonna check fuel right now. Then when you go to put this on the bike, now this is one problem. This tank will sit down a little bit lower. So sometimes the length of this needs to be changed. I'll do a separate video uh, when I do that. If I have to do it on this one, I'll shoot another video showing how to do that with these clamps. So what you'll have to do most likely is just shorten this hose or get a new hose. Um, and so we'll show that. I have this tool, you can buy them on Amazon uh, to be able to do these. So um, hopefully we don't have to, but we probably will. So I'll do a separate video on that. But that's, that's how you set up the fuel pump on a KTM or Husqvarna four stroke uh, in a larger tank. Or even if you had to replace this in your stock tank, that's how you would do it. So uh, that's all there is to it. Um, so nothing too scary. So make sure those are tight. Again, I would test it first before you put it on the bike. And, uh, 
you know, be safe and careful. See ya.